Hey folks, welcome back to another review with yours truly, Sam Healy. Today we're taking a look at Cave Paintings, Me Draw Good. And it is basically a caveman themed party game where you are having to draw like a caveman on a dry erase marker, different words that you're going to have in front of you, idea cards. And uh, whoever is able to do the best at drawing and be the best guesser will gain the most points and become the cave painter extraordinaire or something to that effect. So let's get down to the table. I'll show you how it works and we'll come back with some final thoughts in just a few moments. So here I have set up for you a four player game of Cave Paintings, Me Draw Good. And uh, basically what this is, is just a, um, a game where, you're, where you have three uh, sets of two words each in front of you. And you have to try to draw those six words onto your uh, dry erase board here uh, within the time limit that is shown. And then everybody's going to pass their sheets around uh, using their guess cards for the other players uh, to guess to see if they can uh, decipher the drawings and guess the right answer for each of those things. And then everybody's going to score one point for each correct guess that they had here. And then for every uh, picture that you drew on your board that more than half uh, of the people guessed correctly, then you'll get also a point for those that are on your sheet as well. So you're gonna be getting points for making correct guesses and then you're also gonna get to be getting points for uh, people guessing your things correctly in the majority. Now the caveat being is that when you're drawing on your sheet, you can't use your regular hand style. You have to hold the pen uh, like a caveman would, like this and you have to draw using your hand like so. You can't use it like this. You have to hold it as a caveman would and try to draw the pictures like so. So one person is going to be able to take the timer and flip it over and everybody's gonna start drawing. So then once the timer has run out, whoever uh, noticed that it had run out is the annoying time watcher and they will actually get a point uh, for being the annoying time watcher. So we'll say that uh, uh, Z was able to uh, see that the uh, timer had run out first, so he will actually get one point for that round. Then everybody's going to take their, their sheet and pass it to their right. And once everybody has a new sheet in front of them, they're going to take the uh, me guess uh, card that they have and flip it over, and then they're going to try to guess what these things are. So maybe, uh, let's see here, this is a, uh, let's say a boat. So we're just gonna write the word boat there, and then maybe that looks like a mushroom maybe. So we'll write mushroom, and that, hmm, that could be a lot of different things. I'm gonna say that maybe it's a bridge. And then here we have a circle with a scent symbol in it. So maybe that's, I don't know, a coin. Something to that effect. I don't know. We'll see that. So they only wrote four, so you only make four guesses on it, and then you go ahead and turn that over, and then you'll pass this one over to the next one. Now, the rule book does say that if you think that other people are going slowly or too slowly, you can go ah, 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 and, and you know, try to uh, get people to hurry up and, and just be very caveman-like uh, in your actions and everything like that. So uh, you can do that, but when you're done, you pass this over, and you continue until you have made guesses on all of the different get me guess cards. Then everybody is going to take their sheet and uh, basically after everybody has chosen all of their guesses and they're going to point to each thing on their uh, dry erase board and everybody will say what it is. If half or more of the players guessed your thing correctly, you'll draw a circle around it, which means that you're going to get a point for that drawing. All right, so let's say the green player here did a pretty good job. Uh, they didn't get all six of their drawings done, but the ones that they did do, they did pretty well. And so they're going to be able to get uh, four points from their drawings because more than half of the players got each of their uh, pictures guessed correctly. 
And then you're going to look at what you guessed on the other person's cards. And so for here, uh, they got Tiger and Toaster correct, but they didn't get uh, Lightning, which was actually Zigzag, and Sushi, which was actually a tire, uh, correct. So you get two points from your guesses for red, and then you get three points from your guesses for blue, and four for your guesses from yellow. So then what's going to happen here is the uh, sheet will come out here and uh, for all of the artists, for all of your artist points, I got four there. And then the me guess points, I got five, nine. So that will be put in there like that. And uh, that round continues until everybody has scored their sheets. And then you play five rounds. Whoever has the most points at the end of that fifth round is the winner. Now this is a very fun, light-hearted party game where you are just uh, really kind of expected to run with the whole talking in obstructed sentences and bah, ah, 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 and you know just really getting into that idea, ah, 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 hurry up, you know that kind of thing. Uh, you're really expected to kind of do that. The rule book goes uh, far and above. Uh, encouraging you to do that. The entire rule book is written in that, uh, s s I don't know, truncated or just stilted kind of language. And um, that actually was kind of annoying. So with all that having been said, let's go ahead and get into my pros and cons for the game. First pro is that um, it's an interesting theme. <laughs> and I like the lighthearted nature that the theme brings with it. You know, just kind of stepping out of your comfort zone and uh, just kind of being... You don't have to be goofy about it, but you can be if you want to, and it really fits with how the, the game is supposed to work anyway. Uh, so that's interesting. I usually don't like it when games are expecting you to be uh, goofy or moronic or anything like that, but with this, it felt almost natural to do that because you're having to draw uh, with your hand like this and uh, you just almost naturally start talking in that gruff caveman-esque voice uh, if you are uh, at all trying to get into the theme. Um, with that having been said, it's, it was uh, also fun. The second pro is it's fun to see uh, how people's brains translate to drawing on a uh, sheet from some time, from time to time, because uh, what you see is not necessarily what the person who drew that picture sees. And uh, that brings a lot of interesting and funny uh, situations to light. Uh, so that's another uh, pro for me. Now, as far as cons are concerned for me, the uh, component quality, while not exactly a con, um, the cards didn't fit quite well into the, the standees for them. Uh, and I mean, they were too loose. It's not that they were too tight or you were damaging cards or anything like that. It almost went the other direction where uh, if you wanted to pick up that card, you had to uh, pick up the entire base, not just the card, because the card would come out of the base. And where I can see that might be a, a, a neat thing, it was a little fiddly for me, so it's, it's, it's going to be a very light con for me here. Uh, the component quality is great, it's just that how some of those things interacted with one another during the course of the game was a, a little, a little uh, fiddly, I guess you could say, because uh, I was... Uh, not just me either. People were just uh, dropping the cards and, and they weren't standing up very well. Um, uh, and, and that's that. It's not a huge thing, but it's just something that I wanted to mention because it's, it's something that uh, the people around the table were having difficulty with. Uh, second, my con is that uh, dry erase markers. And uh, dry erase markers are really kind of hit and miss. Now, I'm, I'm using this as kind of a, a from experience type of con, is that dry erase markers that come in a game will dry out pretty quickly. Um, but I'm not saying that that's going to happen with this because I don't know yet. We haven't had it for that long, but usually like with, uh, games like say anything or, uh, any other game that, that came with some dry erase markers. I know that the, uh, old wits and wagers used to come with, uh, dry erase markers. I think they still do, but I don't know how they, how they are now, but you get the idea that I'm trying to convey here. Um, uh, I, I would rather, I guess you could have some type of downloadable form that I can print out or give me a pad of paper that I can, I can use, uh, maybe four different pads of papers or, or six different pads 
pads of papers for uh, everybody in their own player color so they can, so they can just uh, rip that off. But I don't know, that might be not cost effective, which is why they probably did it. But my con here is the fact that it has dry erase markers in it. And while they're convenient at the beginning, uh, they will eventually run out. And I know they're not expensive. You can go out and purchase more, but uh, I'm just always kind of apprehensive or um, anxious about games that have dry erase markers in them because they're eventually going to wear out, and that's unfortunate. And so I did enjoy the game. I had fun with it. I think the other people that were around the table had a great time with it as well, getting into it. There was a lot of laughing, um, not necessarily uh, about the game, but it was the interaction about uh, between the players. And that's cool. That's what party games are supposed to do, right? They're supposed to bring people together so that they can interact with each other uh, in a very lighthearted way. And that's what this one does very well. So all in all, six out of 10, I did enjoy it. I uh, had a great time playing it. And I think that uh, many of you out there will as well. So that's it for me for Cave Paintings. Me draw good. Uh, that is it. Six out of 10. Thanks for joining. We certainly appreciate it. We'll see you guys and gals on the flip side. Take care now.